you increase power here, that's going to cause a lot more cavitation. What happens when you start to split the sticks and give it a lot of power, okay? So let's say this engine goes into forward, this engine goes into reverse, okay? And we want to turn around 180 degrees. Now, with this engine in forward, of course, it's going to shoot water this way, okay? With this engine in reverse, of course, it's going to shoot water this way. So that water is going straight into the transom. Now, as you increase RPMs, you increase power here, that's going to cause a lot more cavitation. What cavitation is, it just creates lots of water bubbles or air bubbles, I mean, by hitting up against that transom there. And those air bubbles will start to create an air pocket where the propellers are. And those propellers are going to end up spinning in air bubbles so their efficiency will start to plateau right there so as you increase rpms it's going to be effective and then it'll hit a plateau when you start to feel a lot of that cavitation where the propeller is just turning and turning and turning through air not giving you much propulsion so that's one thing to be weary of when you are splitting the sticks don't give it too much rpm or it won't work for you